Alright folks, we're in a brand new area here in a very old town, 1841 or 43, I can't quite remember. We just came from a very thick wooded area, now we're in a little clearing, in a little modern area, but it's a very old town still. First decent signal, I did get one penny, 1961, but I just saw a coin flip out. I thought I saw a 50s date. Yep, that's a weedy. That was like right on top of the surface, basically, like just under. There's a ton of iron here. It's a 1956. So, hopefully, we get some silver out of here. Alright, this is some like weird clay. I've never seen this kind of soil here in Florida, but. Looks like it had like old brick in it or something. Well, I just saw something pop out of this plug here. And it's a round ball. Lead round ball. Very cool. See the sprue on top there where they cut it. That's promising. I saw some brick too, so hopefully we're on our old house. 89 signal. I look down and I think I see a brass lock. Right there. It's 89 to 90. Oh yeah, that's a brass lock. It's a nice one too. The top is iron. Made in the US of A. That's always good. It might be busted open. Yeah, it's busted open. The innards. Yep, the back fell off, but that's a big old brass lock. I don't think the rest of it's in here. Cool. I'm sure we won't know what kind it is because that's missing, but sweet. All right, we're going to do a semi-live dig here. Um, right next to where I found that lock. And we got another really good signal. The lock came from right there. eighties. Haven't dug it up yet. In the bottom here. It's a coin. It's a weedy. This is a good sign. A lot of coins back here and a lot of cool stuff. Bob He's here as well. He just dug a old buckle and a huge piece of lead that looked like a uh, looked like a uh, hammer. I'm trying to get a date. Let's figure out the range here. Huh? It's very chunky, right where the date is. It's 19 something. I'll try to figure it out. 1941. Right under this tree here, dug some big old brass piece. It's got a very nice patina on it. It's threaded. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's brass. That's cool. I love brass. Just found something of interest. Let me show you what I found the last hole first. Another big old hunk of brass. I can't find it. But another big old hunk of brass. This hole, this just popped up. It's an 81 with the AT Max. It's like a little token type thing. It says Hampton Bay. Registered. It's like a little disc. Zinky. Hampton Bay it says the same thing on both sides with a little design at the bottom with a trademark thing there. Don't know what it is or how old it was, but it's pretty neat. Alright, folks, so we are in the insanely old part of town, right downtown, right along a railroad. There's a ton of buildings all along this railroad. 
There's tons of brick and all sorts of goodies that I've been digging up, but there's just incredible amount of iron. This is like my first non-ferrous target out of here. It looks like something very good. Oh, it is like a heart or something. I think this is a cufflink or something of the sorts. Yeah, it's got a little knob on the end. It's something very fancy. It's got like a screw. I'll have to clean it up, but it's like a heart or wings, angel wings. And that is Victorian for sure. All right, I'll give it a brush and give you a close-up. Well, here's the back. It's got a mini vise on it. It's a little vise grip on the back of this thing. And it's like a heart or something. Pretty cool looking. Pretty ornate. Wings or a heart. Or a leaf even. It could be a leaf. Sweet. That's Victorian for sure. Gorgeous. Well, let's do a live dig on this one. There's a bunch of signals in here. We're going to live dig this one. A lot of this is deep railroad iron that I've been digging. But this is pretty shallow, I can definitely tell. I have dug some shotgun shells up. Right up top here. Break that in half. Could be a shotgun shell, but let's see. Yeah, it's a big old shotgun shell. Arrow. So, something else in the hole. No, nah, that was just me. Grub. Grub, grub, grub. Next target down here. Got a nice signal. It's down in the plug here. It's a big old piece of copper chain of sorts. There's tons of uh, beautiful bits of charcoal and stuff in here. And we're right by the railroad line. I'll get this out and I'll show it to you going together on this one I see some pottery right here not sure how old that is but the target should be in the plug it's the 60s and 70s might be modern I've dug a lot of can slaw Oh, modern aluminum. Insane signal. I'm pretty excited. I'm really hoping it's not a Clyde quarter or a bottle cap. 89.92. It says it's deep too. It says it's at six inches. Six to eight. I'm hoping it's a coin. Not just a bottle cap, because bottle caps have been fooling me with this new machine. Okay, let's see where it's at. It's in the hole still. It's right in the center of the hole, but I can tell it is not a coin. It's a piece of copper. It's a good sign though, you know, because if anybody was detecting here a lot, they would have dug that. And that's a 90 signal, a big old hunk of copper. And that is old too, definitely old. Nice green patina. This is pretty cool. I don't know how old it is, but it is a solid brass nozzle. That's awesome, solid brass. Sweet. Get all that dirt out of there. Cool. 86. Screaming. That is it. 
All right, folks, so I dug a teeny tiny little flap button. See where the shank was on the back, it looks like. Small copper disc with a little chunk taken out of the corner. Pretty sure it's a flap button. I don't know what else it would be. It doesn't have a hole all the way through, so it's, so it's not a uh, washer. We got a big old hunk of lead down here. Very big. It's broken. Has a hole going through it. So I don't know what it was used for. It looks like it's got a thick wear pattern in a circle. We have a piece of lead. Screaming 81 to 79. Well, we got something modern down here. I actually dug a plug, believe it or not, but it's on the surface. Let's have a listen and I'll show you what it is. 60s. Was right in here somewhere. There it is. I'm hoping it's real. No, it's not real. It's rusted. Definitely plated. But it's a big old heart necklace thing. Something. Wish that was real. It looked real for a minute. All right, we got something good now. Way deep down there was a screaming 86, 87. It's like a lead bag seal. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? It's not local, but it's kind of local. That says Lady Lake on it, which is like three or four counties over I guess yeah Lady Lake it's probably off of the railroad considering the railroad is right there yeah let me give it a brush well I can't make out what it would have said on this side but that side says Lady Lake and Lady Lake is, I think, in Lake County. Um, so, I'm sure the railroad linked up with that somewhere and it made its way here. Oh, that's very cool. Not really local, but kind of local. Sorry about the train. We're obviously by the train. Gotta find a real chalky area. Like, I don't know what kind of rock that is, but. Looks like chalk. But this is the find. Another lead bag seal. Oh, it's definitely got writing on it. Very chalky though. Let me clean it up and get back to you. That's what it is. Well, it has like an H or something stamped on that side. I can't quite read it. OCA, baby. And there's like a six or a nine. But it's another one, railroad, but an old railroad depot, um, very, very old, 1800s, it's on an 1894 map, so previously built before then. All right, folks, I got a really, really good signal here. Let me show you what it is. Steady 80, and I scratch down to it, and it's right here. Oh, oh yeah, that is a luggage tag, a very, very old luggage tag. It's got a little iron rust on it, but this is you know, a, a uh, brass luggage tag. This would go on the luggage back in the day, instead of the paper ones we use now. Um, Dozer and Hopkins Transfer 37 Ocala. That's very cool. Domer and Harkin Hopkins Transfer. 
Dozer and Hopkins transfer 37 Ocala. That is cool. That is really cool. Sweet turn of the century stuff right there. I can't believe this is a this is still here. This place has been hit so hard over the years. Dozer and Hopkins transfer 37 Ocala. That's the fire of the day right there, folks. All right, folks, let's go over the roundup here. A hot, hot, hot day. Um, lead, lead, lead. Kind of scrap pile of brass up there. We got a really cool big old nozzle. Brass, solid 92 signal, that was. A brass lock, brass ring of sorts. Um, another bit of brass. And more and more brass, melted brass. Um, this cool thing I showed you, Hamptons Bay. I don't know what that is really. We got a tiny little screw, a musket ball, roofing nail. I think that's a teeny little flat button, or I don't know, something else. Maybe it's a broken rivet. Either a broken rivet or a uh, tiny flat button that doesn't have a shank. Lead, our leaf vice grip, a bit of pottery, a 38 casing dropped, um, our junker necklace, uh, that piece, um, this thing shaped like a little stop sign. With a square hole in the middle of it. No idea what it is. It's copper, but it's getting pretty rough. I'm gonna have to clean it up. I don't know. Clad. Are. Something. Lead bag seal. And our Lady Lake lead bag seal. This piece, I don't think I showed it to you, but it looks like something. It's lead, and it's shaped like something. Um, we got one, two, three Wheaties. And this, Dozer and Hopkins Transfer 37 Ocala. Luggage tag, I love finding these things. These things are very collectible and very old. All right, so that about does it for the wrap-up. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I sure had fun making it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next.